Hello guys, welcome to Online Web Tutor. I am Sanjay. We are learning coding writer for framework tutorial. This is our part number three. Inside this video session, guys, we will discuss about how can we create our first program in application. Inside this video, we will understand about that is how can we create our first controller as well as we will see how can we create our first route. Now, if I back to editor, in the last video, we had discussed all about its full structures and files. So keep in mind, if we want to create any controllers, we need to go inside this app and controllers folder. This is the folder called home.php, which is default provided by our code igniter for setup. And this is base controller, which is our parent controller. So let's say that we are going to create our controller. So what I will do, go inside this controllers folder, click on new file and let's say that we are going to create let's say site controller.php. Either we can use controller keyword with the name or simply we can write something home.php. So we have two options available. Either we can write site.php or sitecontroller.php. So now inside this file, what I will do, as we know that we need to mention our namespace first. So namespace indicates that this is the file where actually it is located or it has been stored. So let's say that namespace and as we know that we are inside this app and controllers folder. So it should be namespace. Here it should be app. Next we need to go inside controllers folder. So this is all about our namespace declaration. Next we need to define our class. So we have site controller. We need to extend as we discussed about our parent controller which is base controller. Now all the basic things we have done with the controller. Now inside this, if we want to make some functions, those called methods, so we can define our methods inside this site controller. So let's say that I'm going to define a simple function, let's say simple with the name simple and inside this, simply I'm going to bind a static message here, let's say echo. This is a very simple program of controller plus route press control shift i if you are using also vs code control shift i is a shortcut key to format the code now here inside controller we have a simple method inside this simple method we have a simple static message now let's say that we are going to run this method into the browser so how can we run that if we go inside here remember about code igniter 3 simply we have the url something like this this is our local host next next we have our application folder we need to type index.php next we need to type the controller name and finally we have our method name here so in the same way we need to do something like that go here let's say this is app 2 public next we need to type index.php next we need to go inside site controller which is the name of controller and we have simple as method if we press enter and this is error something app controllers site controller simple not found it's because here we have attached site controller something like this so if we make it as small in site controller something like this reload this page and again we are not getting here so i think that to fix this issue also we need to change the file name because here c is capital so if i rename 
and go here change to small c so it should be site controller and go and reload this page now as we can see that we are getting our output so it is means too much complex or quite complex to run this application something like with this url controller name and the method name now we want to use the standards it means the file should be something let's say site and here we have the capital cs controller and also inside this class definition we have site controller but how can we redirect that simply for that we need to go inside this config folder we have to configure our routes we have a file called routes.php if i press ctrl b to get the full width layout scroll down and as we can see that inside this routes.php there are several default lines added in which we have default namespace means the controller's storage area called app controllers default controller it is using home and the default index method it is using so these are the basic settings now let's say that we want to run this simple method because we had seen a bit complex method while typing our controller name and method name how can we run our method so is it possible to create a simple routes by the help of this routes.php so that we can run our application obviously we have the simplest routes so what i will do go here and let's say that this is an object called routes we are going to use get here get indicates that get request type so here inside this let's say that we want if any type simple inside the url it is going to call site controller and this is scope resolution operator so it will call simple method so here this is the route name called simple and if we type this route name inside our url it is going to call site controller and simple method keep in mind in php classes we studied that this is the operator means scope resolution operator we used to call static methods but here inside this the definition is something different it is used to call the methods now what i will do if you save all these changes go here and instead of type this hard coded bit complex url what i will do simply let's say simple here so after index.php there is no controller name simply the route name what we have configured inside routes.php so if we press enter now we are getting the same message what we got inside this file if we want to define more methods inside our controller also we can define that so let's say public function let's say simply about us this is our method and inside this method if i type echo this is our about us content and i'm going to wrap this static message inside h3 element tag pasting it here this is our method so what i will do go to routes.php let's say routes here we are going to use get request type and let's say the route name is something about hyphen us and it is going to call site controller scope resolution operator and about us method so if we type about us it is going to call about us method so what i will do if i copy this name means route go here instead of simple type about us and this is the message what we have supplied inside this so as we discussed that we have two options to create any of the controller file either we can create like controller with the concatenation of with the name called site controller or simply even if we want to create simply site.php let's see if we want to create another controller something first.php without controller keyword inside this 
it will work same so let's see that namespace app controllers this is the namespace inside this let's say class first extends it is going to extend base controller as we had seen and inside this let's see that we have a function with the name of let's say contact us inside this let's say we have echo h3 tag a static message this is contact us page content Control shift i to format the code so here we have our controller called this is not actually huh okay this is first dot php because i thought that controller keyword we have added so controller keyword is not here so first dot php this is our class name extends base controller and here we have the method so how can we call go to routes dot php simply as the na naming convention what we have done previously request type let's say contact us and this time this is first which is controller name and here we have contact us method now if we save this change copy this route back to browser instead of about us let's say contact us pressing enter and this is all about contact us page content so successfully guys we understood that any of the naming convention we can use inside our code igniter for either we can write something like first what we have seen or simply if we want to concatenate controller keyword also we can do that so it's our choice that how we are proceeding in our application so successfully guys inside this video now we understood all about that is how can we create controllers and sub bit concept about routes.php file so inside this video session guys if you went out then please drop your comment i will give my reply as soon as possible so for this video session guys thank you for watching and have a great day